Determine the equation of the line that passes through A, this point, and is perpendicular to the line formed by these other two points. Now, when we're finding the equation of the line, there's one formula that comes in really handy. Y minus Y1 is equals to M X minus X1. This is a line equation. We have a slope point form of this line equation. Now, what we have here is that it's going through this point. It's going through point A. So the slope point form of the line equation, which you should memorize, you just plug in this as your x1 value and this here as your y1 value, and you plug it in. So this goes into this formula. So the equation line is going to be y minus 0 is equals to m x minus my x1, which is 6. So we're almost done. We need to solve for m. Now, we don't know what m is, but we're given two other points. Let's solve for m. Now, what's tricky here is that we're using the word perpendicular. So let's solve the, let's solve the slope of this, uh, these two points here first. So let's take a little pause from this question and focus on the slope of BC. Find slope of BC. So to find the slope, the slope of BC is equals to rise over run, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So as long as we subtract in the same direction, we're going to be okay. We'll just make this our x2 value, our y2 value. We'll make this our x1 value and our y1 value. So the slope is going to be y2 minus y1, which is going to be 10 minus 9 is going to be 1 over x2 minus x1, which is negative 7 minus negative 4. So be careful, there's two negative signs here. So we have negative 7 minus, there's the minus here, x1, which happens to be negative 4. So this here is essentially 1 over negative 7 plus 4. Two minuses make a plus. Negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. So here, the slope of this actual, these two points, or this line, is negative one-third. But we're interested in the actual line that is perpendicular to this line here. So we're not interested in this slope. We want the slope that is perpendicular. Now the perpendicular slope, so I'm just going to write perpendicular. This here, the symbol means perpendicular. You could think of it as a right angle there. Perpendicular to this slope is going to be the negative reciprocal. So we want, we want the negative, negative reciprocal of this value here, which essentially is you switch the sign. This is a negative. The negative becomes a positive, And you also flip this uh, fraction, which is the reciprocal. So the negative reciprocal of this negative 1 third is going to be positive and the th 3 over 1 positive 3 over 1 is, that is essentially 3. So we found the slope we're looking for. m equals 3. We're interested in this m, which is 3. So we now have the slope, which is 3. So now, continuing off our original question, which we were trying to find the actual line equation, we have y minus 0, I'm not going to bother writing that, is equals to 3x minus 6. And we can expand it out if you want. We can say y is equals to 3x minus 18, which we have over here as choice A. If you're new to these kind of questions, it makes sense to practice graphing and drawing and visualizing what we mean by parallel to the line or perpendicular to the line. Try to visualize what's going on by being able to sketch these graphs. Perpendicular means if we have a certain line, we're going to be perpendicular to it. So another line is going to be at a is going to be at a right angle to it. Whereas parallel, if the question said parallel, then the two two lines would would actually have the same slope. So there there would be no point to actually finding the negative reciprocal if this question said parallel. Our slopes, our m values would simply be equal.